very good morning guys from St. Petersburg. Good morning! And here we are with Charisma, she's my buddy in, uh, in my cabin. So we came down here for two days layover and we're so excited now we came for breakfast and this is the location of the place. Look at that, we have chandelier and we have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ambience. I had something like that, uh, that's cottage cheese with berries and uh, here we have fruits. But guys, we're going now to exchange our money and move to the museum Hermitage. Super excited, you excited? I am! <laughs> guys, we also have one more colleague from uh, Japan, Erika! Konnichiwa! <laughs> Hello guys! Look at these boats! We've got camera, hot chocolate, charisma is here! <laughs> Any photo guys? <laughs> you can just go behind to be Tsar Tsaritsa. This queue scares us a little bit because there are so many people. And what time is it now? Charisma, 10.30? 10 10.45. 10 10.45, oh my gosh. It took us time to come here. As far as I know guys, it's around $50 if you want to visit it, but maybe it's different price, so let's get inside. Charisma just found ticket terminal, so we have to 700 rubles, so it's roughly $10. So let's try to get a ticket from here. Here it is. Uh, so that's how your ticket gonna look like. Uh, here is another one. Okay, this is the main one. This one was the actual one. So they have two tokens and oh, nice, in memory, beautiful. I haven't been inside since school years. <laughs> Karisma, show me again, what was that? Your place. My place, <laughs> Siberia. <laughs> we are wandering around Hermitage. Groups that come here, and you can hear Italian tour guides, Mandarin speakers. But in general, guys, it's so beautiful. Have you noticed that I'm making the vlog first in Dublin Castle, now here in St. Petersburg Hermitage? Because I love, I love, I love. Look at this. So many details. This is something that is my passion, guys. Vases. Oh my gosh. Wow. So nice. I think it's worse to take audio guides and wander around because you know history and you understand what was happening exactly in the walls here because without a guide as you know you just watch take photos and you go home you just remember beauty but the story to feel it to live it to breathe it i think it would be a good idea to get a guide here is the entrance to another room beautiful beautiful yeah. place hello we're walking tapestries here so beautiful lamps are like art so different like baby blue color so we are moving right now from here all the way to another wing to see exposition and famous paintings over here you cannot drink it because the lady just approached me and told me like oh, you cannot do it here so imagine we found the room with the throne guys check Why it's good to listen to the stories of tour guides next to you? Because the lady just said that if you look up and if you look down, the pattern is exactly the same. Completely the same. Imagine. So here is the hall of Peter the Great and it was restored after a big fire over here in 1837. Another beautiful room. about to finish our tour in Hermitage right now with Charisma but look at the stairs it's nice exit and nice entrance looks like that with the red carpet so if you haven't tried red carpet come here done going on the red carpet downstairs and now walking outside are you hungry goodbye beautiful Hermitage and we are going to the exit it's over <laughs> And here is another place I love so much, this arch. That's what 
Russian place for pancakes. I was here before and she has to come here with me. Where is she? Ah, already taken photos. Okay, queens are coming here as well. So we are choosing our pancakes and let's find out savory or sweet. So we got our pancakes now. Mine is with the chicken and potatoes inside. And Karina got one with the condensed milk and another one with the ham and cheese. So here is Kari's mom and guys I wanted to show you that when you take hot water in Russia it's really super popular just to have lemons available like that, to have lemon slices. And here is the famous bookstore that used to be a singer, fan of singer factory for the sewing, if you know guys. So we're gonna go inside to check a few books. Magnets are here, this is the passport cover that I've got and this is the magnet that I'm getting, pretty much the same. So now I'm searching for book and that's what I got, the location of the shelf. The famous cup that everybody wants from Russia and it's like matryoshka. And if you would love to see which color it is inside, it's orange, nice, and a chocolate one. And of course, the Starbucks, what we had to get. Coffee. So I decided to get flat white to see if it's gonna be good or not in Russia. Let's try. Coconut. Toy mash and the bear. <laughs> so cute. And this is Chiburashka. This is Chiburashka too? Yes. They don't talk. That's nice. <laughs> this one is from traditional Russian uh, cartoon. It's unique, authentic for our country. 17th, the technique is used since the 17th century. Wow! Красиво! Guys, have a look. This one is traditional souvenir. Pavlo Posad shells. The lady is showing us. Wow! Такая красивая! It's so beautiful! Yeah, that's the way we style it in Russia. When you go to the... to winter. The... <laughs> wow! Спасибо. Мы пришли в магазин, чтобы купить покупки, потому что мы решили, что не будет завтра. Вы никогда не знаете, завтра мы будем бесплатно работать. Да, это один из самых больших магазинов в Санкт-Петербурге, называется Галерея Мол. And here we are, uh, going downstairs to get some chocolates, uh, maybe smoked salmon, maybe something else, delicious goodies and uh, a traditional souvenir, like some kind of souvenir foodie um, purchases. Let's go! You might call me crazy, but you know what I'm taking here? Something like that. Russian people un understand me because the smell of this deal is like nothing else in this world. And also, cucumbers, you will never find this kind of cucumbers in your life. So imagine, I'm ready to get it here, to bring it all the way to Dubai just for one dinner, size of like my my face. But it's worth it. It's worth every bite of it. So I'm taking it. Let's have marinate mushrooms. They look like this, and also it's very typical mushrooms for Russia. I'll show you guys. Are these ones? I remember picking it up in forest. They look like this. Here is something else. This one is uh, meat that we cut. It looks like that inside. Very um, boiled, but it's super delicious. It's called Doktorska. Doktorska. And also we got cheese that looks like this. It's smoked and it's very, very yummy. Very yummy. We just smoked fish over here and I've got meat. We just cut it and we use it. As it is, it's already cooked and salty, very delicious. 
These are traditional Russian salads and the famous one is the herring under the fur. That's fish layered with different salads. Oh my gosh, that's so good. These are proper meal salads because we don't make like this kind of salad is not typical for us. We have complicated salads. Wow. Russian style potatoes. Nice. Here is the most interesting part, guys. I know you've been waiting for it. Caviar. That's how it is sold in Russia. Because it's way too expensive. It's protected in different cans. When you pay for it, um, it's going to be removed. Look at this. The price of this one is $100. Yeah, this one is smaller, but look at the can. It's so tiny. So this one is around, uh, uh, let's say, 10, um, 20, maybe $20. It's time to get chocolates. This is the most pleasant part. So these guys, I want to show you. Uh, the famous ones, Alenka. Alenka chocolates are with waffles. So you can see waffle is on top and the bottom. And they look like... I'll, yeah, just like these chocolates. Then I've got uh, Mishka Kasalapi that is same same but with a bear. I love it so much. And I've got Batonchiki. Batonchiki, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's round and it's like a little bit crispy with mashed waffles inside. It's very good. I also got uh, Bielochka, like this squirrel, very good ones with nuts. And uh, Trufili, like trout. Truffles, I don't know how to call them. Truffili. So nice. Hi, you know, this is my basket. And I want to show you also what I got. Uh, this is traditional Russian bread. It's brown, but it's called Borodinsky. So this bread has like rosemary on top. Not rosemary, I think it's rosemary, I'm not sure. But it's so good. So what I'm gonna do in Dubai, I will cut it. I'll put smoked salmon on top. And it's gonna be so yummy. Also, we put caviar. Because this bread, so we put some butter and then we put caviar, red caviar on top. It's so good, so good, you're gonna love it. I also got condensed milk because uh, tomorrow I'm gonna get pancakes because we're already here. I'm gonna show you sushi. These are all traditional pastries. They look like this, they're so cute. Uh, they might be with the poppy seeds or without poppy seeds, but you eat traditionally put it in, uh, in a vase on the table and with tea or coffee, we just, you know, reach, reach one by one. It's good. So in uh, Russian metro in St. Petersburg, we do not have a ticket, we have a coin. One side says St. Petersburg and another side gives the letter M, that means metro. So this is the map of the city, the metro system here. So right now we are here and we need to get over here. Let's go! It's very steep guys, going all the way down there. This is the metro station here, it's very nice. Wow! show you the mosaic this is very beautiful let's go we got lost just slightly I wanted to show you that this bridge is the one that opens up at night for big ships to pass by and it shows you date and the day of the day which is a Thursday can you imagine yes, I believe that that is exactly where it opens the line is here and the line is there I'm already in the hotel, back to my room. My bags are over here, so heavy. And my Instagram is skyflygirl. Over here, or over here, you can see it. I wish you a beautiful day or a beautiful night, depending on where you are right now. New adventures are on the way, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye!